because that does happen a lot, right? To where uh, small businesses will be used for their set-asides, but they don't ever walk away with any work share, okay? So that's number one. You gotta look out for that kind of thing. But let's let's go back even, even earlier, okay? Let's say you're a new business and you wanna come into the federal market. The very first thing you need to do is you have to register with the government. You have to register your company, right? In the SAM.gov registry, SAM.gov, okay? That is a government-run website. It's owned by the government. That's what everyone else uses as like a gold standard to say these are the companies that are doing business with the federal market, or right, or with the federal government in the federal market. And so you have to be in SAM.gov. Now, right off the bat, you are gonna get a ton of emails and other uh, services that will offer to uh, register your company in SAM for you. That's not to say they're not totally legit. Some of them are, okay? And that is a service. If you're willing to pay a couple thousand dollars, essentially, for someone else to do the paperwork for you, that's a service. You can pay for that if you like. But, I, but I'll tell you that the government kind of makes their registration process a little bit painful because companies, it's almost like a rite of passage. You should be going through that as a company. If you want to do business with the government, then you should understand what paperwork is like. So it's not a bad idea to go through the paperwork pain yourself and get used to that. But that you will have a lot of companies coming at you, uh, seeing if they can register your company for you. That right there is almost considered a bit of a ripoff. Uh, that may or may not be legit. It's completely up to you as a business if you want to um, invest in that. Quite honestly, the government wants you to go through the pain yourself, right? So they know that, that you understand a little bit of how the government operations work. There's a lot of paperwork involved in that. So that's just one part. Now, you're, you're, you're gonna have a lot of others, right? There's gonna be, like as soon as you're in business, as soon as you're a small business and you spin up that entity, let's say you register an LLC, or let's say you register an S Corp or some other kind of uh, entity, right? As soon as that happens, right, your company is gonna go into multiple databases that are all over the place. And there, there are gonna be lots of vendors or third-party companies that are going to see you as a potential customer and try to sell you services, right? Some of those are really good, uh, legit services. Like teamypro.com, we have a free service for federal contracting companies uh, to be able to come in and find other federal contracting companies.